the majority of our stars. We go for a pin. Well, cover here for Morishima. Kick out at two. The majority of our stars have been through that dojo process, be it David Finley, Bad Luck, Farley. Even our champion Naito have once been a young lion. Right. And we could be seeing the future right here. I definitely don't see a uh, heavyweight status potentially for Kato or Morishima at the moment. However, well within the junior heavyweight range as the junior heavyweight division continues to fill up here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Shomakato locked into this hold right now, looking to try and drag himself to that bottom rope. Great positioning here, roll out. Yeah, really well oh, done, but great oh work. a cross arm breaker here for Morishima, but you'll see the grasp held by Kato cannot break this grip right now or ever if he wants to stay alive in this matchup. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 he snapped it out. Here's Morishima. Can he get to the bottom rope? Oh, oh just way there. These are the learning moments that you have. Kato had an opportunity to make it to that bottom rope earlier. To a different approach, much more of a Zack Sabre Jr. style approach. You can tell that Shomakato sponges up every single thing that happens whenever he steps in the ring with someone who looks to train him, looks to bolster that future of the New Japan roster. It's something you'll find when these guys are wrestling each other. They try new things. They're a little bit reluctant to do so against the older veterans because they don't want to almost do the wrong thing. But against each other, they're happy to give everything a go, as we can see here. And you've definitely seen a lot of fire out of Shomakato right now, trying to keep those shoulders off the mat. Not like they could even make it there at this point. His arm completely bent behind the spine, and Katsuya Morishima is going to keep it there for the time being, trying to make it to that bottom rope. Can Shomakato. So close. There it is. Yeah, the Young Line program is something that's been ingrained into a lot of people from the inception of New Japan. We'll, we'll talk all about Gabe Kidd and his monumental main event that he had against Shingo Takagi just a few days ago. High angle suplex right on the back of the neck. Callum Newman into the pin for Nichols. Two count. With this big singles match for Callum Newman and a lot of changes that we're going to talk about throughout the night when it comes to United Empire, you know, the goal here, you'd imagine, has to be uh, setting the tone for United Empire just as Nichols is for TMDK when it comes to victories. United Empire also involved in multi-man tag action tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, again, United Empire had a really rough New Japan Cup. No one from United Empire left in round two to go on and try and win the New Japan Cup. So it's now up to Callum to start that winning little, uh, what would you call it, a little roll of the ball to get, get everything going for them for the later tonight. Will Ospreay said that United Empire needs to focus on pushing their newest recruit harder, harder than they ever have anyone else before, but that is a lot of mental pressure to add to the 21-year-old Callum Newman. It's something about before. And Newman out of nowhere with the suplex. Mikey Nichols took just a little bit too much time. Something you said earlier, I found really interesting. This is the first time I've had an opportunity to see Colin Newman. It reminds me of the first time I got to see Will Ospreay mm. all the way back in 2017 at Wrestle Kingdom in a multi man match. And it's the first time I saw him outside of Twitter GIFs. And I was blown away just as I had oh, been by Colin Newman. Newman. Sweeps the leg, stomped down right on the spine. Mikey Nichols feeling the entire weight, the added weight of Callum Newman. Yeah, not a small man by any means, but neither is Mikey Nichols. Mikey Nichols okay. definitely winning Battle of the Tans okay. here tonight. Well, okay. potentially so, but Newman, of course, put on a few kilos since debuting in New Japan Pro Wrestling, said he wants to skip the Will Ospreay path of the junior heavyweight division, make his way straight to the heavyweight path, but still considers himself quicker than any junior heavyweight on the roster, and he shows it in matches like Good this. Luck, I'm rooting for you. Spoke a little bit to Bolton Oleg earlier on in the evening, said that he wants to keep that fire going that he had from the inclusion of New Japan Cup. You see the size of Oleg's hands? I move it. Just crushed Shook his hand earlier on in the day. Man, that thing could kill water. Yeah. That's it's a first mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Watermelons, of course, not alive to begin with. But ah, that's that's how they get you. To crush them, nevertheless. We're going to see if Doki's going to serve as that watermelon tonight. Uh, you've, so you've said watermelon a lot in the last 30 seconds. Well, more than I ever have on a New Japan broadcast. Well, Doki in trouble early. Just choke him, oh. Doki. That's not going to work. Okay, well, we're going to keep trying. I'm getting tied for it. Uh, Bolton Oleg stone-faced. 
Yeah, good boy, Turkey. Oh, there you go. Different strategy here out of Doki and utilizes those feet to good advantage. Step up in Zagiri, got both and Oleg rocked. Oh. And it's Doki who has to do everything he can to avoid injury because coming up tomorrow as Sonata represents in quarterfinals action for New Japan Cup 2024, Doki will be representing just five guys in Mishinoku Pro Wrestling, going to be taking on a man that New Japan fans may be familiar with, Musashi, in Musashi's graduation match for Mishinoku Pro. Yeah, incredible to think that Doki's getting that opportunity, but right now he's getting treated like washing in the washing machine. Oh. Ready for the spin cycle is Doki and Bolton Oleg's gonna be the man to dish it out right here. Tosses around young lions like this in the dojo. I feel sick just watching. Oh, ho, ho. dojo bomb got him down. Cover here onto Doki. And this will be a matchup we see with no time limit coming up very, very soon in the quarterfinals where. Hiroki Goto, talk about it one more time. Gino Gambino has put a lot of weight on himself. The passing of his father back in February took an extended leave of absence following his loss of the IWGP Tag Team Championship. Comes back with a renewed motivation. The exodus of Kazuchika Okada leading many to question the status oh. or future of chaos. And Hiroki Goto wants to be able to put an answer on that. Put chaos in a place of success. I'm telling him, you tell him too. I tell him all the time. I told him. Why did he call you a freak? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, Gabe Kidd is definitely going to say what Gabe Kidd is going to say, but back to Roki Goto, of course, wants to win the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, just like anyone else on the roster. But much more mental weight on that matchup if it were to take place in Ryogoku than Tetsuya Naito would presumably have in that same scenario. Yeah, incredible to think about the different sort of feelings involved in that match, but going back to Goto and the emotional rocks that we've mentioned before, the man's really put the pressure on himself to make sure this New Japan Cup is his as this match now falls to chaos. No pun intended. The ref's gonna get control here. No, well, no control here. As chaos is unleashed here tonight in Osaka. Kenta, of course, the legal man in this matchup. Toriano subbing in now for Chaos. Gosh, a team with Ryusuke Taguchi and Toriano on it. How can the hijinks be any higher? Well, <laughs> anything can happen in these matches. You see one House of Torture match, you definitely know the MO of this group, Gino. Well, I think Kenta Sato is going to have a hard time keeping this together in general. But hey, look at that. He can hey, work, you know. Okay. Are you happy about that, are you? Well, a very different start to the matchup, but you can't exactly say it isn't warranted against a team who has not had a match throughout this entire series without something of the sort happening, Gina. I just don't like the hypocrisy. Because if that was House of Torture who, who started this, you'd be sitting here going, look at him, look what they're doing, and now Hikaleo. They do every single night. Hikaleo and Evil on night seven competed in the semi-main event of the evening. House of Torture pulverizing the knee of Hikaleo until it led to his loss and elimination in the second round of New Japan Cup. Farthest that Hikaleo has ever made it in the tournament before, and Evil heads on to the quarterfinals to face Shingo Takagi. Cover here, two count. Well, we saw that good luck metal cuff that Evil was wearing during that match. He came out presenting it, almost rubbing it in the face of Hikaleo. Hikaleo down to one knee. Evil feeling the effects of the offense from one of the largest members, six foot nine inches tall, is Hikaleo, one of the tallest and most destructive men you'll find on the New Japan roster. Well, using all that height and right now to step on the back of the back of Evil. Revenge on the mind for Hikaleo tonight. Yeah, Evil said Hikaleo only was allowed to wrestle him because this is a tournament and Evil had no say in the matter, but says that Hikaleo didn't des deserve to step in the ring with Evil, still feels that Hikaleo does not deserve to step in the ring with Evil. Have to wonder Evil's thoughts on Tongaloa. Yeah, I would gotta say that he probably feels the same about the whole family. Yeah. Says that they have the DNA of Tama Tonga. They're weak at the cellular level. Try telling Haku that. Yeah, absolutely not. I've seen that man fight. Yeah, as well as the double lariat. 
Takes Cobb. down once United Empire. Shingo Takagi wants Jeff Cobb. Oh boy, oh boy, what a singles match this would be. Would love to get back something like this soon. As Shingo catches the boo of Jeff in the corner, pumping bomber. Multiple elbows being laid in, multiple forearms, but that fiery nature of Francesco Akira. Yeah, Akira definitely wanting to prove himself before. Mr. Super Juniors. You can't say that United Empire lacks the confidence, that's for sure. Red O'Conn recently has a movie that's coming out. And a lot of people have been wondering if that's what he's been focusing on too much. He's been out doing mania for the movie. And Shingo just reminding him this is still pro wrestling. Well, it's still yet to defend that KOPW 2024 championship. It's day 55 of that reign for Great Okan. We're going to see what the future for Great Okan holds. But Shingo Takagi, I think it might be Takagi time. And he confirms it for me. Turning up that dial to another notch. Now Shingo getting their soccer crowd revved up. Jeff Cobb, hell of a power base and hell of a power athlete. Belly to belly, wow. Shingo landing right on the neck there. Throwing around Shingo like he's back in his super junior days. Jeff Cobb leaning right into the cover, shoulders down. Kick out at two for Shingo. I think you're right when you say that. Wait a minute. Could it be C time? Oh, it's Cobb time, baby. Cobb thinks he's been overlooked into the feet. An IWGP World Heavyweight Champion or a former against Shingo Takagi right now would do great things for the career of Cobb. Never that prestigious of the New Japan Cup in the heavyweight division. Here we go underneath. El Phantasmo brought out with the DDT spikes Yoda Suji in. And that could be the difference maker for ELP. Able to counter Suji's power. CL Phantasmo grasping at the ribs, might be struggling to breathe a little bit here. Gino, you've been in that position in the past. Yeah, absolutely. You take a few shots to the bread basket and can take the wing right out of you. And you still have to continue wrestling. There's no round ending, there's no timeouts. No British round system here, folks. It's all going to continue going in no time limit competition. Crossbody off the middle. And it sets up for this. We've seen it before. El Phantasmo. Oh. Looking that for, for that fantastic salt, not gonna happen. A little salt in the wound for Yota Suji. If this lands, Tornado DDT. ALP stalking Suji all the way to the apron there. And Jado quietly confident on the outside. Well, Gino, you felt the padding on the outside before you felt those hard, hard collisions that Yota Suji and El Fantasmo just felt out there. And that padding, I mean, it's more so to protect the floor than our athletes. Yeah, we absolutely played some really high-end gymnasiums and judo halls, and they're more worried about paying the bond back. Oh, Phantasmo, high angle, Senton, got it on the mark. Sets up for this, finally hits it. That fantastic salt cover here into a two cap. Suji still feeling rocked from that DDT on the outside, and now ELP trying everything he can to just create some distance and have a little bit of time to recover. He's still holding that midsection. Kaneoka Park Gymnasium in Osaka. Oh. The Sabre Jr. off the wall oh. and right into the Cobra Twist. Well, won't be able to get the victory out there. Red Shoes found the timekeeper just to hold on while he goes and checks what's going on out there, but he's definitely not going to get a submission in the middle of our arena. Well, Zack Sabre Jr., a bye in the first round, taking him into the second. Every other member of this tournament who received a bye in the second round has made it through into the quarterfinals. Do you believe, Gino Gambino, that luck is on the side of the front man tonight? Well, he's going to hope that it is because he has called out Red Narita and told him, bring your best and maybe a bit of luck is needed. As we head back towards the ring, well, we kind of were, but Zack might have other ideas. Oh, good Lord. Knocking barricades into our fans here at ringside. Now you're knocking over the table. First my chair, now the table, Gino. Give me a break. I'm trying. Oh, you fixed this table. You better. Yeah. I did it. The job's on the line. 
The table's still falling, Gino. Give me a break. As Zack Sabre Jr. Gonna look to keep from falling in this matchup. Suffering a fall, it'll be his first ever to Red Narita tonight. As I said, Zack, J Zack Sabre Jr., former New Japan Cup winner, was able to get a bye early on, but... Oh. Oh. Went for that kick, sweep of the legs for Ren Narita and Sabre Jr. taking to the outside. Oh, okay. And once again, oh good God, onto the table, good Lord. And then we're gonna try and do our best to keep safety here at ringside, but I have a MacBook to protect. Good Lord. And Narita takes complete pride in this, loves every single moment that he's getting right now. Your headset pulled completely. Your monitor is gone, Gino. I'll solo it for the time being. He's got to take it to the other side. Ren Narita is going to spare no expense here at ringside. Takes Sabre Jr. over the top. And it just goes to show you there is nothing sacred in New Japan Pro Wrestling to Ren Narita.